Welcome. I welcome you all to this lecture in the course Samasa in Paninian Grammar and this is the first course. As is our practice, we begin the lecture with the recitation of the Mangala Charana. Vishvesham Satchidanandam Vandeham Yokhilan Jagat चरी करती बरी भरती संजरी हरती लीलाया विश्वेशम सच्चिदानंदम वंदे हम योखिलन जगत चरी करती बरी भरती संजरी हरती लीलाया इन दिस कोर्स वी आर कंसंट्रेटेड on the Tatpurusha Samasa. Tatpurusha Samasa is a type of Samasa in Sanskrit. The other types are Avyayi Bhava, Bahuvrihi and Dvandva. In the Ashtadhyayi, the Samasas are stated in the following order Avyayi Bhava, Tatpurusha, Bahuvrihi and Dvandva. We have said that the Tatpurusha Samasa is by far the most productive of the samasas. The number of sutras used by Panini to describe the Tatpurusha Samasa are quite a few in comparison with the other samasas. Be it Samasa Vidhayaka Sutra or be it Samasanta Pratyaya Vidhayaka Sutra or be it uh, Samasa Svaravidhayaka Sutra, the number of sutras composed by Panini to describe the Tatpurusha Samasa outnumber the sutras described, the sutras used to describe the other types of Samasas. Tatpurusha Samasa also has got a huge variety of Samasas. And we have studied them in this particular course. First, we studied Vibhakti Tatpurusha Samasa, and there we studied Dvitiya Vibhakti Tatpurusha first, then Tritiya Vibhakti Tatpurusha, then Chaturthi Vibhakti Tatpurusha, then Panchami Vibhakti Tatpurusha, then Saptami Vibhakti Tatpurusha, and then Shashti Vibhakti Tatpurusha in that order as given in the text of the Ashtadhyayi, the core text of the Paninian grammar and the Paninian tradition. Then we studied Karmadharaya Samasa, following which we studied Ekadeshi Tatpurusha as well as Nay Tatpurusha Samasa, following which we studied Gati Tatpurusha Samasa and we also studied Gati Saudhnya stated to various words and then we studied Upapada Tatpurusha Samasa. The formation of the Tatpurusha Samasa can be explained with the help of an equation stated on this particular slide. X and Y, they are two separate and independent entities in terms of meaning as well as word form as well as accent, artha, shabda and swara but they are semantically interrelated and the speaker of Sanskrit decides to merge them together and form one unit called XY. Now the features of this XY1 unit are one artha, one, me, one word and also one accent. Aikarthya, Aikashabdya or Aikapadya and Aikasvarya. In this XY, Y assumes the position of the head. This is the by default position. What it means is that when XY is related to any other word in the sentence, 
it will be only through y. When x is related to any other word without going through y, such a samasa is considered to be an exception and is treated as an asamartha samasa. We also studied the derivation process of the samasa in which laukika vigraha plays a very important role highlighting the vyapeksha lakshana samarthya, the interrelation between the padas, after which there is laukika vigraha getting converted into alaukika vigraha and it is at this stage the samasa saudhnya takes place and here samasanta pratyaya is added and then subluk happens and some purvapada karyas and some uttarapada karyas they happen and then the finally derived samasa is generated. The samasanta suffixes are stated from 5468 onwards. The sutra is samasantaha 5468. This is an Adhikara Sutra. The scope of this Adhikara is up to 54160, which is the end of 54. These are the suffixes which are added at the end of the compound. And most importantly, they are part of the compound. They are not just hanging loosely. They function in determining the ending of the compound. They also function in determining the feminine gender suffix to be added after the compound output and also the accent of the compound output. In this lecture, let us study the samasanta pratyaya added at the end of the tatpurusha samasa and we first study 5491, which states the addition of the samasanta pratyaya touch to a tatpurusha samasa. The sutra is Rajaha Sakibhyash touch. There are two padas in this sutra, Rajaha Sakibhyaha one and touch second. Rajaha Sakibhyaha is 5 slash 3 of Rajaha Sakhi. Rajaha Sakhi is made up of three constituents. Raj, Ahan and Sakhi and this is 5 slash 3 which means immediately after Rajan, Ahan and Sakhi. Touch is 1 slash 1 which means suffix a and this suffix a is with markers t as well as ch. Words continued are Tatpurushasya from 5486 Pratyayaha from 311, Samasantaha from 5468. So the meaning of the sutra is the following. The suffix touch is added at the end of the Tatpurusha compound immediately after Rajan, Ahan and Sakhi. I repeat, the suffix touch is added at the end of the Tatpurusha compound immediately after Rajan, Ahan and Sakhi. So Rajan, Ahan and Sakhi form the Uttarapada of the Tatpurusha Samasa. So no Purvapada condition is mentioned in this particular sutra keeping it an open-ended bag, a very important clue for the productivity of the compound and also the forms with the samasanta pratyaya. So when the meaning to be conveyed is king of men, Purushanam Raja, this is the Laukika Vigraha from which we have Purusha plus Am plus Rajan plus Su as the Alaukika Vigraha. Now in this case the Tatpurusha Samasa is ending in Rajan and so suffix touch is added and this suffix touch has got a as the pratyaya with t as the marker and ch as the marker as well. So this a is called tit as well as chit. So the next 
step in the derivation process is Purusha plus arm plus Rajan plus Su plus touch. This touch is only a which is stated in the next stage. Purusha plus arm plus Rajan plus Su plus a. Now, the Samasa Saudhnya takes place, the Pratipadika Saudhnya takes place. The Samasa Saudhnya actually takes place before the suffix touch is added. But Samasa Saudhnya has taken place. So the Pratipadika Saudhnya has taken place. And so now Sup gets deleted. And so we have Purusha plus 0 plus Rajan plus 0. And the Samasanta Pratyaya A is there. So we have Purusha, Rajan, A. And then we drop An by the Sutra. And so we get Purusha plus Raj plus A. And so finally we get the compound output, namely Purusha Raj, Purushanam Raja, King of Men, Purusha Raj. Because of this suffix A, the Samasa with Rajan being the final constituent becomes now a Pratipadika ending in short A. Accordingly, the behavior in inflectional morphology is determined. So, Purusha Raja will now have Purusha Rajaha, Purusha Rajau, Purusha Rajaha Prathama, etc. All these forms, Subanta forms. This suffix T also determines that the Pratipadika will be added with the feminine suffix E that is Ni stated by 4115 which begins with tit, tiddhanai dvaisaj dagdhai matras tayap thak thai kvarapaha. And also, the final vowel accent is also determined by this suffix, namely by the marker ch, by the sutra 61163 chitaha. Let us go to the second example of the sutra. So, if the meaning to be conveyed is friend of Krishna, so Krishnasya Sakha, this will be the Laukika Vigraha and so we will have Krishna plus Ngas plus Sakhi plus Su, the Samasa Saudhnya has taken place. So, now we add the Samasanta Pratyaya, Krishna plus Ngas plus Sakhi plus Su plus touch that is A and so now the because of the samasa saudhnya and also the pratipadika saudhnya the sups get deleted by supodhatu pratipadika yoho so we have krishna plus 0 plus sakhi plus 0 plus a and then krishna plus sakhi plus a and then the e in sakhi gets deleted so we have krishna plus sakh plus a and finally we get the form Krishna Sakha as the compound output, meaning the same thing as Krishna Sya Sakha, friend of Krishna. The final constituent of this samasa is Sakhi, ending in short e, but adding the samasanta pratyaya, the samasa becomes the one that, is, that ends in short a. And then its behavior in inflectional morphology is determined accordingly and also the feminine suffix and also the accent. Now when the meaning to be conveyed is a collection of seven days, the Laukika Vigraha is Sapta Ahani Samaratani. So we have Saptan plus Jas plus ahan plus chas and we add the samasanta suffix touch over here. So, saptan plus chas plus ahan plus chas plus touch. Samasa saudhnya has happened. So, pratipadika saudhnya also happened and so, supodhatu pratipadika yoha applies. So, we have saptan plus zero plus ahan plus zero plus a and then saptan plus zero and the an at the end of ahan gets deleted. So, we have saptan plus zero plus aha plus a 
and because this is samahara, the anha substitution does not take place. So we have saptan plus aha plus a, and na at the end of saptan gets deleted by nalopa pratipadikantasya. So we have sapta plus zero plus aha plus zero plus a, and we join them together, and we get the form saptaha, which is same as sapta ahani samarhatani, a collection of seven days, saptaha. Now we go to the next sutra, Agrakhyayam Urasaha. And here there are two padas in the sutra, Agrakhyayam and Urasaha. Agrakhyayam is 7 slash 1, which means when the meaning of head is stated. Agra is the head, Akhya is the statement. Urasaha is 5 slash 1 immediately after the word uras. Words continued are touch, suffix a with marker st and ch, tatpurushasya from 5486, pratyayaha from 311, samasantaha from 5468. So the meaning of the sutra is that the suffix touch is added at the end of the tatpurusha compound immediately after the word uras when the meaning of head is stated by the word uras. I repeat, the suffix touch is added at the end of the tatpurusha compound immediately after the word uras when the meaning of head is stated by the word uras. So there is this traditional statement which means, which reads, yatha sharira vayavana muchate pradhanam uraha evam anyopi pradhana bhutaha uras shabdena uchchate just as uras or chest is stated to be the main body part within the body similarly any other who acts as the head is also stated to be occupying the position of uras by the word uras so we have Ashwanam Pradhanam. So the head is stated, head of the horses. In this case now, the Laukika Vigraha is Ashwanam Uraha. And the word Uras is stating the meaning head. And so now we have the compound generated. The Alaukika Vigraha is Ashwa plus Am plus Uras plus Su. So the Samasanta suffix gets added over here. So now we have Ashwa plus Am plus uras plus su plus touch. Because of the samasa saudhnya and pratipadika saudhnya, sups get deleted. So we have ashva plus zero plus uras plus a and we join them together and we get the compound output ashvo rasa. Ashvo rasa. Similarly, when the laukika vigraha is hastinam uraha and the meaning is the head of the elephants, we get the compound output hastyurasa. And when the meaning to be conveyed is the head of the chariots, rathanam uraha, this is the laukika vigraha, and the compound output is rathorasa. Next, we go to the next sutra, atehe shunaha. In this sutra, there are two padas, Atehe and Shunaha. Atehe is 5 slash 1 and Shunaha is 5 slash 1. Atehe means immediately after the word Ati and Shunaha means 5 slash 1 which means immediately after the word Shwan. Words continued are touch which means suffix a with markers t and ch, tatpurushasya from 5486, Pratyayaha from 311, Samasantaha from 5468. So the meaning of the sutra is the following. The suffix touch is added at the end of the Tatpurusha compound 
immediately after the word shwan, when the word shwan comes immediately after the word ati. I repeat, the suffix touch is added at the end of the tatpurusha compound immediately after the word shwan, when the word shwan comes immediately after the word ati. So when the meaning is overtaken the dog, atikrantaha shwanam, one who has overtaken the dog. The laukika vigraha is atikrantaha shwanam, the alaukika vigraha is ati su plus shwan plus am. So we add the samasanta pratyaya touch over here. So now we have ati plus su plus shwan plus am plus touch. Samasa saudhnya has happened. So pratipadika saudhnya has happened. So supodhatu pratipadika yoho now applies. So we have ati plus zero plus shwan plus zero plus a. And then we apply the other sutras which delete an. And so we have ati plus zero plus shwa plus zero plus a. And finally we get atishwa. as the finally derived compound output. And so finally we get Atishva as the finally derived compound output, Atishvaha. Similarly, Atishvaha Varahaha, this is the output generated. Javavan, that is the meaning given, which means in the speed, the hog has overtaken the dog. Atishvaha varahaha. Similarly, Atishvaha sevakaha is the other explanation of the compound Atishvaha, which means Sushtu Swami Bhaktaha, where the devotee or the servant has overtaken the dog as far as the loyalty is concerned. Deeply loyal. Now, because of the samasanta pratyaya touch, the suffix ngip is added to express the feminine gender and so atishva plus ngip and then atishva plus e and finally we get atishvi, atishvi seva and in Sanskrit it is rendered as atinicha, very low, overtaking even the dog. So seva is considered to be atishvi very low. Similarly, the next sutra we study is Ardhacha. Here, the word Ardhat is in 5 slash 1, immediately after the word Ardha, which means exact half, Ardham Napumsakam. And the other word in the sutra is Cha, which means and. The words continued are touch, suffix a with markers t and d, tatpurushasya from 5486, pratyayaha from 311, samasantaha from 5468, navaha 5 slash 1, which is immediately after the word now. So the meaning of the sutra is. Also, the suffix touch is added at the end of the tatpurusha compound immediately after the word no, when the word no comes immediately after the word ardha or exact half. I repeat, also the suffix touch is added at the end of the tatpurusha compound immediately after the word no, when the word no comes immediately after the word ardha meaning exact half. So when the meaning to be conveyed is exact half of the boat, ardham navaha, this is the laukika vigraha and so we have ardha plus su plus nau plus nas as the alaukika vigraha, samasa saudhnya takes place. So we add the samasanta suffix touch over here and so now we have supodhatu pratipadika yoho applying so we have ardha plus zero, plus nau plus zero, plus a, and then ho yavayavaha applies, and we get the form ardha nava as the finally derived compound 
output which means the same thing as ardham navaha exact half of the boat to summarize the suffix added at the end of the tatpurusha samasa is added immediately after the term samasa is applied at the stage of the alaukika vigraha the suffix is added in various environments triggering different rules to apply to generate the output in the form of a compound this suffix also triggers rules which add feminine suffixes the suffix at the end of the compound changes the shape of the output of the compound shvan ends in na but the compound atishva ends in a and so on and so forth these are the texts referred to thank you very much